Hey, it's Tom here and welcome back to the channel. Now, uh, this is going to be the first update video that I've made in the Shameless Cloner portfolio series that uh, started on the channel not too long ago. So a um, bit of a refresher if this is maybe your first time seeing a video in this Shameless Cloner portfolio series is effectively what I'm doing is I'm taking some of my favorite investors and I'm basically just tracking what they're doing every single quarter. And if I see some interesting stock ideas that they uh, maybe have purchased into, then I'm going to uh, basically shamelessly clone those investment ideas and put them into a portfolio and, and track the performance of that portfolio. And this video series is inspired by a paper that came out in about 2007, I think it was, called Imitation is the Sincerest Form of Flattery. And it basically looked at if you had just simply looked at Warren Buffett and uh, saw what he was buying and selling each quarter through his 13F filings from Berkshire Hathaway, and uh, you'd basically just copied them. So as soon as you got that 13F info at a 90 day delay, like you generally do for those filings, uh, if you looked at that info and bought what Buffett bought and sold what Buffett sold, you would have done spectacularly well. So um, I really want to try and implement that in this sort of model portfolio. And I'm tracking the portfolio returns using ShareSight. So uh, ShareSight is the application that I use to track my personal portfolio. Uh, it calculates, as you'll see in this video, uh, capital gains or losses, any dividend income, and also uh, fluctuations in currency should you own uh, stocks outside of the currency in which your portfolio is denominated. So um, ShareSite is a really useful tool for not only portfolio tracking, but it also integrates with the brokers that I use. So it automatically is constantly pulling in any changes I might make to the portfolio, whether I'm buying or selling. And uh, it also gives me some really useful tax reporting that I can ship off to my accountant and it just makes tax Next time a lot lot easier than it would be otherwise so if you're interested in checking out ShareSite for yourself there will be a link down in the description ShareSite.com forward slash investing with Tom if you use that link and sign up for one of the paid subscriptions that link will get you four months free off of an annual subscription option so firstly, a quick update on where the portfolio set in the first update that I made. So um, the first video on the channel around the Shameless Cloner portfolio was not actually at 13F time. I sort of made that in a little bit of an in-between time, but this is the first round of 13Fs that we've gotten since I have created the portfolio. So uh, it's time to kind of check in, see how it's going and make some updates. So um, just as a reminder, I basically started with a key set of investors is that are my kind of Mount Rushmore and uh, the investors that I specifically want to clone. So uh, the investors on that list are Warren Buffett at Berkshire Hathaway, uh, Charlie Munger through his Daily Journal Corporation portfolio, uh, Monash Pabri at Pabri Funds, Guy Spear at Aquamarine Capital Management, and also Lee Liu at Himalaya Capital and Norbert Liu at Punch Card Capital. And I'm not fully closed off to cloning other investors as well. Uh, this quarter is actually going to be a very good example of that where there's not a whole lot of kind of clone worthy activity, I suppose, out of our super investors this quarter. Uh, so I'm going to expand out to my wider group of about um, 16 super investors that I follow. So I'm going outside the scope of Mountain Rushmore a little bit to uh, try find some interesting ideas. And uh, the main reason I'm doing that is uh, if we look at the current portfolio or the portfolio as it's uh, for the last update that I did, um, we weren't fully invested. So I started off with a few core positions in the portfolio, which included stocks like Alibaba and Berkshire Hathaway and the Daily Journal Corporation. But I still had a significant chunk of the portfolio just sitting in cash initially until we find a home kind of for that money and until we find uh, some places to allocate out that capital. If you want to see a 13F portfolio update video for all of the investors that I just mentioned, uh, check out the previous video on the channel if you haven't already. I went through all of my 13F updates for those investors and went through kind of what they're buying and selling. Uh, so as a bit of a refresher, just very quickly to kind of go through those investors without looking at every single kind of position. Uh, with our first super inv investor that I like to clone, uh, Buffett at Berkshire Hathaway, there really were no significant changes. So uh, we had zero changes in any position in sort of the top seven stocks for Berkshire. So really nothing clone worthy for the Shameless Cloner portfolio from there. Uh, with Charlie Munger, the only change was quite a substantial add to Alibaba, but that one actually already sits in the Shameless Cloner portfolio. So again, nothing particularly clone worthy from Charlie Munger. Uh, with Guy Spear, we had no change at all in any position. So again, nothing particularly clone worthy in that portfolio. Uh, with 
uh, Monish Pabrai at Pabrai Funds. We saw a uh, one major change to his 13F, which is, was actually a sale of Alibaba. So we have uh, Munger buying it, Guy Spear holding it, and uh, Monish Pabrai selling it. So I think that if you average out those three actions, it's probably still a hold. So <laughs> that one is uh, going to remain in the Shameless Cloner portfolio uh, as well. So again, no significant change out of uh, Monish Pabrai, or, or at least no kind of clone worthy activity for, for our purposes for Monish Pabrai. If we jump across to uh, Li Lu, the only thing of note was a purchase of Berkshire Hathaway. Uh, again, that's already in the Shameless Cloner portfolio, so nothing clone worthy there. And finally, if we go over to Punch Card Management, which is Norbert Lu's fund, uh, no change at all in any stocks. So again, nothing clone worthy at all. So for that reason, like I said in the video, we're going to have to uh, cast our net a little wider in terms of trying to find some places to at least initially allocate out some of the cash that still sits in the Shameless Cloner portfolio. So um, we have actually added two stocks to the portfolio. So if I jump into ShareSite and uh, show you my screen here, firstly, let's just look at the performance so far. So currently the Shameless Cloner portfolio, and again, this has been a very short term kind of time period. This is a, a long term project. So we're looking for sort of multi year compounded returns here but uh, in the short time that we have uh, been running the portfolio which is about a month so far our portfolio is currently down slightly so down about 0.8 percent versus the s p 500 has actually had a very good month so it's up five uh, percent so we're already <laughs> lagging behind the index a little bit but that's kind of where things currently sit and if we scroll down to the actual holdings in the portfolio, you will see the performance of each stock so far, and you'll also see the two new holdings that I have added. So uh, yeah, let's work down the list. So the first one we've got is Alibaba. Uh, that is actually a stock that just reported earnings overnight my time as I'm recording this video. Haven't had a chance to look at that in detail just yet, but right off the bat, uh, Alibaba was down pretty significantly. So currently that stock is down about 13% since our shameless clone purchase at $145 a share. Um, but that was kind of a full position in the portfolio and will, will remain as a full position. Uh, next we have Berkshire Hathaway, another full position and a clone of uh, Warren Buffett himself with his share buybacks. We can now also add Lee Lu to that list and we had Norbert Lu uh, holding Berkshire as well. So a full position, it's done not much in the last month, so down about 0.9%. Uh, we have the Daily Journal Corporation, which is a clone of Guy Spear. The stock has done pretty well over the last month. It's up about 11% or so. And then uh, finally, in terms of existing positions, we just had a short-term bond ETF, which essentially is cash. It's just kind of a cash alternative that sits there until we allocate uh, that money into some uh, businesses and to some stocks that show up in 13F filings. Okay, so let's talk about the two new stocks that you're seeing in here. So the first one is Hilton Grand Vacations. Now, this is actually a clone of one of our kind of broader net of super investors, and that's a guy by the name of Cliff Sosen at CAS Investment Partners. Now, uh, Cliff Sosen, if you don't already know, has probably the best investment track record I've ever seen. <laughs> Granted, it's over a shorter period of time I think about 10 years 8 or 10 years at this point uh, but he has returned I think about 37% per year compounded after fees and uh, they're pretty steep fees off the top of my head I think it's about a 2% management fee and a 20% performance um, fee as well so um, spectacular returns and uh, we did see quite a big kind of new position in Cliff Sosen's portfolio uh, this last quarter which was Hilton Grand Vacations so I have made Hilton Grand Vacations kind of a half position in the portfolio for um, one main reason really and that is because it hasn't come from our Mount Rushmore of super investors so um, we've got kind of a couple of rules there we can have either a full position or a half position uh, so I've made that a half position it's about 50% of the size roughly of um, Alibaba and Berkshire Hathaway at cost. And the second stock in the portfolio here that is brand new, and again, this is a half position as well, is actually Process. And uh, this comes from Guy Spear. Now, I just mentioned that we didn't see any updates in the 13F from Guy Spear. Uh, Process is a stock that is outside the US, so it's not going to show up on a 13F. But he has recently done a couple of different interviews where he's mentioned uh, investing in Process. And interestingly, he actually mentioned NASPERS in one of those interviews, but Process, he certainly said, when he was on CNBC. So um, I've gone ahead and cloned that. 
Uh, Guy Spear is on our sort of Mount Rushmore of super investors, so um, you could argue that it could be a full position, but the fact that there's not a lot of visibility into when Guy Spear changes that portfolio has led me to kind of scale it down a little bit. So that's a half position. Uh, in terms of kind of cloning, getting out of the stock, if Guy Spear does ever sell it, um, really it's going to be an interesting one in that uh, in that department because we're going to have to pay very close attention to uh, anything my, Guy Spear might say in an interview or write in maybe a an annual letter to shareholders in his fund. But those are the two new stocks, each roughly $10,000 at cost in this $100,000 model portfolio. So um, as such, our cash, our cash position or the Vanguard uh, short-term bond ETF is down from about 50% of the portfolio to 30% of the portfolio. I've pulled out about $20,000 worth of cash there in order to allocate to those new positions. Okay, and if we jump over to some of the reports in ShareSite, just to get a feel for uh, where things have kind of are currently sitting in terms of our allocation, I'll jump over to the diversity report, and this is going to show us just a simple pie chart of uh, where the cash is currently allocated. So, our uh, biggest position is actually cash, so we've still got that roughly 30% holding in just. Uh, a Vanguard short-term bond ETF. So hopefully over the next couple of quarters uh, or next yeah, one or two quarters, hopefully we'll be able to distribute that out into stocks. I don't want to have a whole bunch of cash drag and stuff going on here ideally. So um, that is one that we will uh, allocate out soon. Hopefully we have Alibaba at 22%, uh, Berkshire B at 22%, DJ Co at 12%, and uh, Hilton Grand Vacations at about 11% of the portfolio. And just very quickly in terms of the price at which those new stocks were added with Process and HGV, um, Process has been pretty much on a downward trend for most of the year. So um, I purchased this on the price that um, Process was trading at uh, as soon as the 13F data came out. So um, that is about 77 and a half euros is the price that we've got into uh, Process at. And HGV has actually gone up a little since Cliff Sosin's purchase. Now uh, we do have a ruler around price which is uh, we don't want to purchase anything that has run more than 30% from the midpoint uh, roughly of, of price of the previous quarter. So uh, end of September, which was our 13F kind of uh, date, uh, HGV, HGV was trading about $49 or $50 per share. The low during that quarter looks like it was around 37. So HGV overall is probably up about 20% maybe from the midpoint in price. So um, it has gone up a little since Cliff Sosin probably bought it, but it still is within that 30% price threshold. Okay, so that is where the Shameless Cloner portfolio sits right now. Uh, I do hope you enjoyed that update. Uh, definitely let me know any thoughts on the portfolio down in the comments below or how I'm kind of approaching this whole thing in general down below as well. Uh, my typical kind of MO in my personal portfolio is to sort of use the 13Fs as a nice way to source ideas and then basically do my own research on them and, and figure it out and see if I can get to the bottom of why an investor might have bought into a particular stock. But uh, in this exercise, I'm trying to be a little bit more shameless and just kind of, um, you know, be a copycat and just coattail these great investors and kind of see how that works out. So this will be an interesting little experiment with our hypothetical $100,000 portfolio. But uh, I do hope you enjoy it and, uh, you know, we'll track along for the ride. And, and we'll see how we get on. So um, if you're interested in checking out ShareSite for yourself, like I say, you'll need to go to sharesite.com forward slash investing with Tom. That will get you four months free off of an annual subscription. It's a great tool, uh, saves me lots of kind of time and money on accounting fees and you know figuring out taxes as well as actually tracking my portfolio. So uh, definitely check that out if you're interested. But that's it from me for this one and I'll see you in the next video. Cheers.